Hello and welcome to Wild West Garage. My name is Morgan and that is a 57 Chevy. It's not crashing and actually I'm gonna admit, admit right now that it never did crash. It was crashed into. Um, there is some damage. You're gonna see that. Um, and um, if I, I guess, I don't know if I really need to apologize, but I'm gonna apologize uh, anyway uh, about the, I guess what you could call clickbait, but I did put the crash in quotation marks, so that could, should have been a clue to all you people that just wanted to see a 57 Chevy crash. Shame on you. Um, anyways, uh, this uh, video is more about um, maybe lessons learned. Uh, so if you're a car person, which you probably are because you clicked on a video about a 57 Chevy, um, and if you have a car trailer, if you know somebody that has a car trailer, uh, or you're thinking about getting a car trailer, Maybe you can learn something from this. I did. Uh, maybe I relearned something that I already knew. Sometimes I tell my kids I've forgotten more than you know. Uh, that's true, I do forget a lot of things. I get lazy, um, whatnot, bad habits. So bad habits and laziness can add up to uh, embarrassment, uh, time lost, money lost, Lives lost, ultimately, that's the worst thing. Injuries. So stick around, I'll show you some clips of what happened, and then I'll come back and talk about it. So I did something really stupid. Got this truck on a trailer, backed into the far bay here. I don't know if you can see how close it is to the Chevy, but it's it hit the Chevy. So that rear wheel was right, kind of right on the edge of the pit. And when I went to hook up the um, trailer to my truck, the ball wasn't quite lined up. So I, I lowered it down onto the ball. It was kind of off, so I took a, then I took a bar, tried to pry the hitch onto the ball and the trailer rolled back. Those wheels went into the pit, the trailer rolled back and smashed right into my Chevy. Um, had a look at it. Uh, the hood bar is broken and the left headlight trim is broken. So hopefully it didn't uh, bend the hood. Uh, anyways, I, 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 there's no way I can pull this thing out of here with my truck, I don't think. I'm gonna try, but I don't think it's gonna work. It's just, I'll just spin out on the, I don't have enough traction with this thing. So, sucks. Here's the damage. One headlight door and one hood bar. Doesn't look like it bent the hood at all. Super annoying, that was a nice hood bar, nice headlight door, nice original parts. What I ended up doing, just jack, I jacked the trailer up on the, the ramps, jacked jack the bed up until I could get enough clearance to get uh, these boards under the wheels and just was able to, I had enough leverage, I was able to lift it up and get the wheels on something and drive out. Trouble is I couldn't get enough tongue weight. I actually rolled the truck ahead a little bit too to get more tongue weight because it was just spinning out. Like I don't need more to do already, right? Or I haven't got enough to do already. Just dumb. Should have chalked the wheels. So the, I guess the obvious thing is uh, 
wheel chocks. If I had had a wheel chock in between the wheels on the trailer, um, it wouldn't have rolled back into my car. Um, you know, but you know, this, the the real sad thing, and I talked about at the beginning of the video, is, is laziness. Is I did have a wheel chalk between the right side uh, wheels in the, in between them, so I was uh, chalking the uh, front uh, axle on the right side from rolling back. <clears throat> so when I walked into the shop. I, uh, I was walking over to the door to open it. I uh, I saw that wheel chalk there, and I, I I pulled it out. And when I say laziness, I guess my thought process was at the time was, uh, well, if I don't pull that out of there, I'm gonna I'm gonna forget it's there, and I'm gonna go to drive away, and then I'll have to get out of my truck and grab the wheel chalk. And you know that'll be inconvenient, right? But uh, so in the end, I you know that's what I did. I pulled the wheel chalk out, and as, as the events uh, unfolded, um, now I've got to fix my car. I've got to buy another grill bar and another headlight door. So is that inconvenient? Yeah, you bet it is. Um, you know, and the, the, the part that really annoys me is those are those are the original parts on that car from the factory, as far as I know. That car has never been involved in a front end collision, uh, so those are the original parts. So, and they were they were in reasonable good condition. I mean, you know, they were a little bit. They had some patina, but the whole car has some patina. So now I have to go out and find parts that look like they were there from day one. So I don't want to put a brand new re-chrome piece on there because it's going to look it's going to look odd. It's going to look out of place. So, anyways, um, so wheel chocks, and another thing that could have prevented the, this from happening is when I had the truck as close as I did to the trailer, and it was almost, you know, it was almost, you know, it was almost there, like you know. If the if the if the if the trailer had been on like normal flat ground, everything I did would have worked. It would have just gone on, no problem. But as soon as I twisted the trailer a little bit, the one wheel on the I guess the left side wheel dropped into the pit and it just took off. So <clears throat> um, if I had hooked the safety chains to the truck. And who thinks about this? I, I've never done that. I always drop the, I always drop the, the, the hitch on first, and then I hook everything else up. That's that's sort of the order that I do things in. But I think now that this has happened to me, that's probably the first thing I'm going to do. Hook the hook the safety chains on. That's why they're called safety chains. If I'd hooked the safety chains on, it might have rolled back into the pit, but I don't think it would have hit my car. It would have stopped. The chains would have stopped it from hitting my car. I know I know they would have. So um, so anyways, number one, wheel chocks. Leave your wheel chocks in until the trailer is hooked up. That's why they're there. So your trailer's not going to roll away. And don't park so close to a pit. <laughs> you know, I could have I could have pulled the trailer ahead a little bit. And that wheel, that, like that wheel was right on the edge of the pit. Like it was like, obviously, right? And so that was, that was dangerous. I could have gone back, like I was, I was working, I was working back there. I was working on the wiring. That's why I brought the trailer in the, in the shop. I wanted to be, get it out of the rain so I could work on the, the wiring. And I was back there. I could have got squished. So yeah, wheel chocks, wheel chocks, wheel chocks. That's the that's the that's the big lesson learned here. Secure the vehicle so it can't move. <laughs>